let's let's turn our focus to the AFC South. And comment below if you have a division that you want me to break down. Um, but for ne- for right now, we'll we'll break down the AFC South. Uh, it it goes without saying that it was a gigantic gigantic head scratcher that the Houston Texans traded away DeAndre Hopkins and traded got a second a fourth rounder and they got David Johnson from the Cardinals and so Kyler Murray is set for life with Larry Fitzgerald and DeAndre Hopkins to throw to can you imagine oh my goodness it's it's fantastic for Kyler but for the Houston Texans seen on Twitter a lot of fans are upset and a lot of people cannot believe the chain of events that have occurred in the last year and Bill O'Brien really really needs to Give people, I mean, let's be honest, we don't know what the full plan is for the Houston Texans. Maybe maybe this will all turn great, and this will all pan out, maybe. <laughs> you know, it seemed like David Gettleman had some crazy, crazy moves there for a little bit, but then, you know, you know, OBJ did not really play super well and obviously has some personality issues that he needs to work out, as far as my perspective. Um, and then, um, you know, their, their quarterback situation is looking okay right now. So the Giants with Dave Gettleman got a lot of heat for what they were doing last offseason. Maybe the Bill O'Brien situation is the same. Um, but honestly, um, big head scratcher there. Not to mention the fact that they, they sign up um, for $27 million, Randall Cobb, for three years. This seems way overpaid for a guy who hasn't had that great of a season in a while. Um, don't see Randall Cobb replacing the production that DeAndre Hopkins had. Um, you know, they make some other moves like signing back Vernon Hargraves, which is really odd seeing as how they just cut Vernon Hargraves. You know, the Texans, what are you guys doing? I already made one video about this, so I won't spend too much time about it. Um, DJ Reader goes away. And, you know, it's just, it's a situation down there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say, as a Tennessee Titans fan, I'm a, I'm a lot less worried about the Titans playing the Texans next season because DeAndre Hopkins would tear it up. He would destroy the Titans regularly. Uh, he was a difference maker. There were times where the guy was just untouchable and would catch everything. Um, so the fact that the guy is out of the division makes me a lot a lot happier, uh, honestly. Um, Deshaun Watson is still just a magic, magic football player, and he can make, he can make, he can make nothing into something. He can turn the water into wine. We've all seen it time and time again. Deshaun Watson is gonna still have a lot of success. However, he's gonna have to do it without DeAndre Hopkins, so it's gonna be a little bit harder for the guys. So, if Bill O'Brien doesn't have some kind of good plan. Um, I don't, I don't see him sticking around too much, long, too much longer. And then the Texans are without a GM and a coach because he's acting as GM and coach right now. Let's move to the, let's move to the Indianapolis Colts. Um, but before we do, make sure you comment below, did you like the situation that the Texans put themselves in, getting rid of DeAndre Hopkins? And honestly, I mean, just beware if you're a number one wide receiver. Uh, beware because Stephon Diggs gets, gets traded away. Uh, Antonio Brown, you know, gets released. OBJ gets released. Uh, your your days are numbered if you're really re- if you're <laughs> if you're a generational talent. Watch out. <laughs> Basically, is what is what we're learning in the NFL right now. So, comment below. Let me know if you disagree or agree with me. 